Uh, so already we can see we got our total resistance um, value here. We set our power supply to 12 volts at maximum current. So what I'm going to do there is I'm going to switch off the power supply because we must always remember not to work on the live circuit. And uh, I'm going to take the positive from the multimeter, I plug it to the positive of the power supply, and I take the negative from the multimeter, I take it to the negative of the power supply. Then I grab two other probes. Um, I'm going to call the red one the positive probe for the multimeter, and I'm going to call the black uh, probe the negative uh, for the multimeter. So in this case, we want to try to verify our total resistor. Uh -uh. We verify the total resistance values. Né? We want to try to verify our total voltage and uh, the voltage on each resistors. So um, what I'm going to do is, firstly, I'll switch this to the volt scale, right? Then um, to get the total supply voltage, I'll plug the positive of the multimeter, the probe, I plug it to the positive of R1, right? And I plug the negative from the probe to the negative of R3, right? So in this case, uh, let's see what the total supply gives. Uh, from the multimeter, we're actually getting uh, 12.0102-ish there. Um, another thing I can do is um, I can measure directly from here. I can measure directly from, so we've got the negative and the positive. Don't forget for the voltage measurement, we measure in parallel. Positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative. I'm just going to switch on the power supply here. Guys, I want you to notice something here. What you have calculated as a total current is flowing through our circuit and um, we still get our supply voltage of 12.03 so that is how to get our total supply voltage now i want to get the voltage across r1 i want to get the voltage across r1 positive from the multimeter goes to positive of r1 negative from the multimeter our common terminal goes to negative of r1 then I switch on the supply. Now, um, we'll notice that we're getting 2.928 um, thereabout, which is close to the value we, we calculated. Um, I'll also do the same for R2. For R2, the same uh, concept, positive goes to positive, negative goes to negative, right? Um, so I switch on the power supply here. Um, we still get, you see, our current do doesn't change. Uh, voltage is still there. But for R2, we're getting 3.6 uh, something. Um, it's actually here on, you can just uh, zoom close. We, we get our voltage across R2. So what is happening is when you guys come to the lab, you'll be expected to, to also verify for, for R3. So I'll see you in the lab, guys. Uh, make sure you verify R1, R2, and R3 for any resistance values. So I'll catch you in the next uh, video.